Hello, it's Sarah from Funky Fossil here and I wanted to just stop by and film a short video um, talking you through our latest release which goes live um, on Friday, June the 24th. There's quite a lot of product in the release and obviously we share lots of um, kind of uh, inspiration and um, previews of the products on Facebook and Instagram but sometimes it's just easy to show you in person so I thought I would spend a few minutes and take you through some of the absolutely gorgeous stamps, stencils, dies and um, kind of embellishments that we've got as part of this release. My plan is to come back over the next few days with demos and, and uh, inspiration on how you might get the most out of these products and the ideas I have of, of how I would like to use them. Um, but let's talk about the actual release before we go into any further detail. I was going to start with the, um, the stamp sets first. There are six A5 stamp sets in this release. Um, and typically the, the stamp sets are, are what I then build from in terms of the, the stencils or the other additional elements that go in, um, go in with them. So let's uh, give you an idea of what, uh, the, what five, uh, sorry, six sets of stencils we have. Six sets of stamps we have. Get my words out. So this is the first one, it's called uh, Blooming Tropical and it's a lovely um, set of hibiscus and um, sort of tropical leaf uh, images along with some fairly kind of um, solid sentiments as well and this is just, this has just ended up being one of the uh, stamp sets that I have reached for repeatedly when making samples because it, it's just a great um, additional touch to lots of designs as well as something obviously that makes beautiful focal points. So um, yeah, I mean, you, you can see here on the, on the side of my desk, you know, I've, I've stamped and cut out lots of these from the, the papers that I'm going to show you. Um, and they're just, they're just lovely, a great size to work with on your cards. So that is Blooming Tropical. Then let me take you to the next one, which is uh, called Surf's Up. And as you can see, very much a summery vibe here too. Uh, silhouette images predominantly, but they're kind of sketchy silhouette feels, so they're not necessarily completely solid black, um, but they will look great against kind of inky backgrounds, seascapes, um, and uh, yeah, just a, just a fun set, I think, this for, for kind of all ages. And obviously got your three surfers in, in different um, poses there, uh, along with a lovely kind of framed um, tropical scene, so that works great with lots of other um, elements from the release but also is, is a nice kind of focal point to, to build around uh, with the surfers too. And this set has four sentiments as well. So yeah, great one this, it is, it's very easy. I love using silhouettes on my cards because it's a, a great way of using all those fabulous backgrounds that we love making. Next up, uh, I've got Beauty's Garden to share with you. And this is a really kind of elegant stamp set. Um, Beautiful kind of stylized um, insects here, a dragonfly, moths, um, two large urns or vases with, with beautiful designs on them. And then these kind of quite, um, yeah, quite stylized, I think it's probably the right word, florals as well. And this is a beautiful set. So you can't really see uh, do it full justice here, uh, given it's um, uh, clear stamps, but they're a good size. Um, and it, again, very versatile because so you can stamp them over pattern papers, the strong kind of black lines on them enable you to um, colour them um, with washes and, and uh, in a very inky fashion. But you're guaranteed to get something I think really quite, um, quite eye-catching when you use this stamp set. And that one is called Beauty's Garden. Let me see what I've got next on my pile here next to me. Um, this is a fab set. This is uh, known for the summer um, by Charlotte, Charlotte Blackwood, one of our regular designers. Uh, and Charlotte has done two uh, sets of gnomes already for different seasons. And this is her summer, summer collection. Um, and again, fabulous characters here. We've got three um, large um, gnome designs, obviously eating an ice cream, um, water in the garden, obviously there with the kind of uh, all the flowers on his hat as well. So. Yeah, they, they're again, um, lovely, lend themselves to lots of bright colours and a really summery feel on your, your cards. 
and you can see here um, really the, the actual stamp images themselves will make a really good um, a good focal point um, with not really not needing to do an awful lot more to get a great great outcome and I've got some samples that I can show you with uh, just to demonstrate that point so yeah I really love Gnome for the Summer I love uh, Charlotte's gnomes and her artwork generally but her gnomes are just fabulous Talking about um, artwork that I love, um, we've got another set here by Zinsky Art. Um, Eleanor's designed uh, quite a few sets for us now at Comfy Fossil, and her artwork is always um, really fun, uh, lots of quirky attitude, uh, quite a kind of doodly, um, relaxed style of illustration, so great for colouring in. Uh, and her characters, in this occasion, we've got characters with all kinds of different drinks, kind of cocktails, pint of beer, an ice bucket. All of those are accompanied by some fabulous sentiments, which uh, again kind of extend that that kind of um, drink related theme. So you've got you know, why limit happy to an hour, uh, save water, drink beer. And I think my favourite one on this set is um, cocktails because no great story ever started with someone eating a salad. I just think that's a really, really unusual sentiment to get in the stamp set, but goes brilliantly with these images. So lots of fun to be had with this stamp set. And the final A5 uh, stamp set that I've got to share with you today is by Donna, Donna Gray. Again, another regular designer for us at Funky Fossil um, and fabulous, again, um, kind of really uh, whimsical, uh, great ideas, which I think are, uh, are kind of really eye-catching. And here, uh, her, her concept is that each of these three animals will fit in the large teacup in the set. So you've got just fun, uh, fun images already that are gonna kind of make your, make your projects pop. And with this one, um, the and that's why sorry just to explain that's why obviously we've only got half the bodies here because uh, the idea is that you don't have to be but the idea for, for this time set is that they're kind of they're positioned in the teacup itself and while i talk about this stamp set uh, it's probably uh, worth just mentioning one of the dies that are in the set uh, in the release let me find it which is our um, layered layered cup dies so these have been sized um, to work with, uh, with Donna's stamp, but they also obviously uh, work independently if you're wanting to make a tea or coffee themed card or, or a journal page. You've got your solid uh, cup and then you've got your three different patterns that you can lay over the top. And with the three pattern ones, I've just really um, kept with the body of the cup. So obviously your, your handle would, um, would, um, would be appearing from the layer underneath. There's obviously a little um, little kind of, what are they called? Tea bag thing. I'm not sure what you call it, a tea bag? I think it's a tea bag and a heart, which of course you could use to cut out of the solid, um, the solid teacup as well if you wanted to. So these, uh, I think in my mind, when I was putting this release together, uh, make a great duo. And you'll see from some of the samples, um, that that's absolutely what the design team have done. They've, they've paired these, these items up. So they're the A5 uh, stamp sets in the release. We do have one A6 uh, and again, a very summery style um, stamp set. And I think this is just so cool. It's um, called Good Vibes and it's just got this kind of real retro camper van um, image on it. That's the primary uh, stamp in, the, in this set see the flowers in it and it, it just makes a wonderful um, a wonderful focal point for your projects it comes also with a sentiment and also that the palm tree is separate so obviously you can use that with the camper van but on other projects too so i'm sure you can see already how well things like good vibes and the surfers are going to go together because obviously that's got a similar theme but i wanted to have this a6 as a standalone and um, for those of you who particularly like this image and wanted to, to focus on that. And on the surfer theme for this release, um, also have um, this uh, layering surfboard set. So solid surfboard base or the, you know, solid surfboard, you could, you could um, uh, stamp onto that or 
uh, create your own designs. And then we've got three uh, overlays that create either a sun ray design, a wave or the tropical leaves. And these just look fabulous. So they're a great size in terms of um, being able to use them independently. Uh, but as you as you can imagine, obviously, um, the idea is with the surfers and the um, the camper van, you've got a great uh, trio of items there that are going to be kind of mix and match. And I hopefully I'll show you what I mean by that. And before I move on from the uh, stamps, uh, we also have our uh, minis, our A7 collection. So I'm always expanding this collection because um, I just think these this size of, of stamp set is just the stamp is just so versatile. Um, mainly because uh, it's great for, for us trading cards, but also um, because I think it's great for, for building and extending backgrounds, but also using uh, as little touches in the background if you just want to use parts of the image. So um, this one is actually, it was actually hand drawn um, for me by Charlotte, Charlotte Blackwood. It's called Leafy Swirls. Got great with uh, some of the gnome images. And the other one by Charlotte is also called Rounding Dots. So again, great for kind of colouring colouring it in, um, but also I've seen the design team use it uh, brilliantly as, as just a bit of background texture. Uh, and that's a really fun one. Kind of bubbles as well, kind of might go with the, um, with the chatty bar um, drinks as well. So that's the first two of the A7s. And then uh, I did a, a, a damask um, stamp as well. So this is just a, sing, a single large um, kind of damask image, uh, partly because I thought that would work really well. Uh, it's great as, as an image in its own right, but uh, in my mind at the time, I was thinking it would be a great uh, thing to accompany uh, Beauty's Garden, just extending that elegant kind of timeless quality. So I think I'll be making lots of use of, of this damask uh, image. And finally, on the stamps and on the A7s, we've got uh, this fun um, image uh, by Eleanor, by Zinsky Art, um, and it's called Beating Hearts. And as often with Eleanor's artwork, you've got that kind of movement, you've got the, um, the kind of doodly lines. And yeah, these are just kind of very distressed and slightly abstract uh, heart images, which will make great backgrounds um, and wouldn't necessarily immediately appear to be hearts if uh, depending on the context to use them in, but a great fun one to use, lots of detail in there. And the kind of distressed look to it as well, which I really love. So I've taken you through the stamps. I have showed you two of the dies. Uh, the third die set in the release that is worth just mentioning is our film strip die set. So we've got a, a kind of set of on-site film negatives there as a single die and a larger single still or negative um, which I, I decided in because I thought that would make a really kind of cool frame for an image um, if you wanted to pair that with the with the kind of strip in the background but yeah it's again great for scrapbookers but equally um, kind of art journaling um, kind of memory keeping and just just having fun by having little elements of uh, stamp images just peeking through uh, each of the apertures you get there in the film strip. So uh, this was a, a die set that one of the design team, Laura, suggested. And um, I think uh, everybody's really enjoyed using it in this release. So you'll see it on lots of samples too. So that is the third and final die in, um, in the release. And uh, in terms of other things uh, to just kind of share with you, um, I've got uh, two paper pads, it's the same design, just in two different sizes, um, coming out uh, again on Friday. It's called Watercolour Rainbow, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we've got kind of we've got six by six and eight by eight, I'm not sure if I, I said that, um, but hopefully I'll be able to show you on, on the camera. Um, just beautiful, watercolour um very soft well both soft and vibrant so you've got all the different kind of uh, options there um but just really kind of uh, papers that you can use in so many ways because they're great as backgrounds they're great for paper piecing um they just give you that that automatic kind of um 
background when you don't have the time to uh, get inky or you just want to, as, as I have done, um, you know, just get a stamp set out and, and cover a sheet with, um, with stamped images and just spend um, a bit of time uh, fussy cutting fussy cutting them out so you've got instant embellishments and I mean these I think I think these three leaves for example were taken from just this single sheet because you can see the colour variation with that inky blue through to that rich green through to the paler greens at the top so even on a single page there's lots of different colours and areas that you might want to highlight depending on what you're doing so yeah this is this is just uh, proved to be uh, a very popular paper pad with the design team and um, one that I found myself using on a lot of the makes for this release. So yeah, I uh, I really have been pleased with how this one's turned out. So say so you've got your two sizes depending on what you see yourself using them mostly for um, or getting them both together if um, if you if you kind of um, want to have the the full the the full options of, of the different sizes and in terms of uh, embellishments um, you've probably already seen on the website but we've got some uh, enamel dots with this release that are newly out uh, this is our clear and classy set so we've kind of got gold uh, kind of gold glitter silver and some clear and excuse me <laughs> i'd wanted clear for ages um, but I do love them and again they're kind of I, I decided to bring them out with this release because of those those kind of watercolour um, themed papers the clear and, and these kind of nice metallics will, will really kind of accent pretty much any colour combination so that's our enamel dots and I won't spend too long going through the stencils you know or hopefully you know I, how much I love my stencils and so with every release I try and bring out a, um, a range of stencils that are going to expand the themes that we've got going on um, with the stamps and uh, on this for this um, particular release we've got the kind of the, the tropical leaves so it's quite an abstract but it's a fab leafy background um, we've got sunrise which uh, is great for trying to minimize the glare there hopefully you can see through the cello bag um, so sunrise is great with um, with the gnomes. It's great with the surfers, and of course it doesn't need to be sea themed. You could make some as green, and it could be sun rising over the fields in a country scene. It's a it's a really um, great way of giving you a big focal point on a card, which your stamping can then work around. I've got leafy bird, which is um, a layered bird. So also you've got your main bird aperture. You can use this half of a mandala in the main body of the bird if you want to, but equally stamp into it, um, doodle into it. You know, just um, you know, have fun with the with the scope the aperture gives you, um, and of course, as always, I've included the mask as well. So that's great for for blocking out or using on your gel plate if if that's your thing. Moroccan rose is another uh, stencil that is part of this release. Um, and again, I just think it goes really nicely with maybe the Beauty's Garden stamp set. Um, just wanted to kind of embellish the um, that kind of classic Moroccan um, uh, design with, with some uh, floral elements as well. So you could use the florals without the background or use it as a ready-made background with the, with the combination. So it's a really, um, a really lovely, it's a pretty stencil to use. Continuing on with my summery vibe for June, we've got the um, layered hummingbird. So this is a, a stencil, which as I'm sure you can see, the, the, um, the hummingbird with the elements cut out of it will fit over the solid aperture. So you can have a base color with then um, either texture paste or um, another contrasting color over the top to pick out the detail. And of course, I've got the uh, the uh, solid uh, hummingbird mask there as well, which is another great um, great kind of option for using. I have my surfer theme in mind, obviously, with this one. It's called Wave Rider, and we've got we have, uh, as the name suggests, we've got <laughs> we've got waves at the bottom. Again, great for positioning the surfer stamps. Uh, a great kind of uh, bold sentiment there, which I just thought would go, look, work brilliantly on maybe scrapbooking pages of the beach, etc. And then just a row of surfboards, uh, smaller surfboards at the top for borders or 
and don't even need to be circles depending on what on what uh, kind of project you use them on so that's almost a three in one stencil and then the final one um, that i wanted to just uh, show you today is called country diary this has got some abstract script in the middle of it and then some um, some kind of floral elements around the side so great maybe from the slightly more vintage looking designs um, but again you know you could pick out uh, elements of this which is just a script uh, or highlight the the florals depending on where you want to focus so i think i think that's everything in this release and hopefully you can see why i thought it might be worth just putting it on camera because there are just um so many fab products uh that even trying to keep up with it on facebook and instagram there are things you may miss uh, over the course of the week where we do the previews please do check out our facebook group funky fossil designs because you will see uh, all the samples that the design team make on there uh, and it's a way of going back and revisiting uh, ideas when you've got actual products to play with yourself i don't have many samples with me today because all the design team ones haven't yet come through so i'll just give you a quick skip through some of the ones that i've got on my table here um, but won't won't take too much more of your time and there'll be plenty of time for you to see these um, again say uh, on social media so this is a card that uh, samantha has made for us and as you can see she's put the critters in cups that donna's designed um, to great use here she's used the layering cup dies to give that cup added dimension um, one thing samantha does a lot of and looks really cool is kind of she uses the sentiment stamp uh, repeatedly in the background and uh, this uh, this kind of uh, really bright uh, flower is from um, the doodle blooms die set so she's obviously showing how those work together so a really cool make then looking at another bright and vibrant card this one's by jane and this it just shows off the good vibes um stamp set to to perfect effect here she's obviously got the camper van stamped out against a really vibrant background and then brought out the um the color of the of the floors on the van so you know there's summer on a card for you love that i do love that one uh, and here's another one for us by um, Jane. She's used the watercolour rainbow paper, papers in the background. So she's stamped directly onto them. And it's you know, just worth remembering these are uncoated papers. So you can stamp and ink and do lots of techniques onto them. So she stamped the uh, scene and then she's cut out the surface silhouette. So you can see how he's looking into that view. Beautiful kind of sunset effect. And then... Um, uh, Jane's also made this um, clean and simple shaker card using the um, Critters in Cups uh, stamp set. Fabulous. I just love the colours she's chosen for the sequins in the main body of the cups. So just showing you how those cup dies can be used to create different effects as well. Don't need to layer them up. You can create apertures with them. Uh, and Jane also, you can tell I've had Jane samples through, which is why you know, she's, <laughs> she's, she's getting, getting all the airtime. Um, but this is a good way of showing how those gnome images are big enough just to kind of hold a card in their own right. So she's uh, stamped and coloured out, coloured the, um, the gnome eating an ice cream here beautifully in those kind of Neapoli Neapolitan colours. So I just love the colour way on that uh, and the colouring she's done. So Jane does make, makes fantastic kind of clean and simple cards and uh, it helps the stamp images really pop. She's also made this one. So this is the, the kind of the gnome with the, uh, the flowers in his hat. And she's paired that with a Retro Blooms uh, stencil to create that border around, uh, around the main focal point. And a lovely uh, peachy colour combo as well on that one. So yeah, the, the gnomes work great, uh, whether it's just as a single image on its own, in its own right or uh, on cards with that stenciling in the background. Uh, Beauty's Garden is the one that um, Jane used here in, in her trademark purple. So she's used that beautiful um, dragonfly image and then just very lightly uh, stamped the uh, one of the uh, floral elements and stamp set in a kind of lilac around the edge. And uh, you know, that's, that's all you need on a card like this, just, uh, just very elegant and simple. Uh, here we have... Um, the blooming tropical 
hibiscus and and uh, kind of foliage there. Again, you say she stumped it onto the patterned paper, the watercolor rainbow paper. Um, got those different variations of color in the flowers, um, and that really is all she has needed to do to to create a quite a sizable focal point on this card. Really, really pretty. Um, here's one that uh, I've made, which, as you can see, is kind of um, mashed the uh, sets together because I think it's important that you can see how they do all mix and match uh, really well. And here we've got the um, camper van from Good Vibes, and I've stamped that in a grey because I didn't want it to be too prominent, kind of almost, almost back in the background slightly. I've got the layered surfboard there, um, quite, I've got three or four layers there to, to create a real dimension, and I've put the uh, the blooming tropical hibiscus flowers behind it so yeah i think that kind of is a good gives you a good summary of uh, the kind of the look and feel of, of this release using these blooming tropical flowers again um i'm not sure i showed you this stencil i don't think i've got it here but this is our um hibiscus frame stencil which is also part of the release um and i've used uh, beautiful embossing powders on that these are from um Tony Dara uh, stamps by me with uh, with wow and again pattern paper and the uh, the flowers so literally just had to cut out and stick down two flowers uh, over that stencil to create this card I've done a card as well here using beauty's garden and um, our doorway die so you can see I've, I've got the um, Actually, this is stenciling. This is a, a Baroque stencil in the background, but you could have used the, the damask uh, stamp to, to create that effect as well. So you've got one of the urns and uh, moss from the um, Beauty's Garden stamp set, along with some of the florals inside. And of course, that's the watercolour rainbow uh, paper creating that, that background. So yeah, lovely. I just... I did think uh, immediately of the doorway die when I when I was putting Beauty's Garden together because I just thought it created that sense of a kind of timeless, maybe a bit of a secret or hidden garden as well. Uh, here's my gnome card. So I've got the, the gnome, again, eating his ice cream. He's at the seaside. We've got uh, the sunrise uh, stencil in the background. And I've just added some... Uh, embossing powders over the um over the top of the sun just to add a little bit of extra gloss and i think i've used our beach life a stencil in the very background um to add a little bit more kind of um beach themed um wording to the wording to the card but yeah he was really fun to color and as you can see with all that's going on in that card enamel dots as well um he he really kind of does stand out as the main focal image and just a couple more. Uh, I've got a chatty bar here. So this is um, two of those sussy cocktails from uh, uh, Zinsky Arts set. And I just love them. Again, great expressions on their faces. Fabulous words. Um, you know, I just think that they are guaranteed to, to create kind of really unusual and fun projects. I've got them, I've done them here with, again, that, um, that tropical scene from Surf's Up, which is stamped onto the watercolor rainbow paper. And I've used one of our stencils that has been out a little while called Happy Hour in the background just for some very light cocktail shaped glass, glasses stenciled on there. So you're yeah, really easy to do, but you can have lots of fun with the different colours you create for the cocktails. So um, yeah, they, 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 they really are. Um, there's only one person that could have drawn these because I, I don't, I've never seen any, anybody um, create kind of images like, uh, like Zinsky Art. Fabulous. And then two final um, cards by uh, Samantha, again, just uh, highlighting how fun the Critters in Cups um, stamp set is, along with the layering die. Um, Samantha's fabulous at creating kind of layered stencil backgrounds. She's used our coffee beans, she's used our chatty cups, um, and then obviously the different characters just sit perfectly in those cups. So, uh, it's probably lucky I didn't have any more um, any more samples from the design team. They're all fabulous, and there will be more to share over the course of the next week. I will be back um, with more videos, with actual demos uh, and ideas of how to use some of these stamps, dies, and stencils. Um, but I really do hope you like this release. Do leave me a comment below, uh, just telling me maybe which are your which are your favourite 
uh, favorite parts of the release and do like and subscribe this is a, a new channel and i really would like to make it a place where you can come and um, get lots of ideas for using funky fossil products uh, and having fun with them so if you like and subscribe uh, and also click the um the notify button hopefully you'll see me popping up in your uh, youtube stream much more regularly over the next few weeks thank you for watching this um i hope that you like the release as i've said and uh, also enjoyed uh, this little bit of a walkthrough from me and i'm looking forward to seeing what you make with this release uh, over the coming weeks thanks for watching see you soon